Hello, everybody. This is another Lamley Awards 2022 showcase. Hot Wheels RLC is the topic today. I'm going to show you everything that arrived in 2022. That's key. We'll get to that in a second. I'm going to show them to you and then go to lamleygroup.com. There's a link down below in the description and vote. This is not tournament style on Instagram. This is a poll. Um, I do both right? Tournaments for some of the brands and some of, to pit some of the cars against each other from different lines on Hot Wheels and Matchbox. But the polls are to vote on all of the releases or at least all the new models in most cases. In this case, you're going to vote on every RLC model, new casting or not, that arrived in 2022. What do I mean by arrived? It means you could have purchased the model in 2021 and what we didn't vote for it in 2021, the model then arrived in 2022. Sometimes it's because they do the selections where we actually vote on the color and the design, and then, then they build the model. We pay for it, we buy it, then based on how many are purchased, they build the model and then send it to us usually like a year later. Or sometimes it's just as the way RLC goes, they sell, they sell us the model, then we don't see it for a few months for whatever reason. Uh, that's been a little bit uh, back and forth throughout, uh, I think, post-COVID. Nonetheless, I've kept track of every model, whether we purchased it in 2022 or not, that arrived in 2022. That also means that there's several models that we've purchased in 2022 that have not arrived that will be included in the 2023 poll. Does that make sense? I think it does. Not just new models, everything, including this BMW. Let's get started. This was the first model that was released. These are in order that I got them, so it's roughly, you might, yours might be a little bit different, but it is everything that's arrived. Uh, we just had the Bronco sale. Uh, that's going to be 2023. Here we go. All right. BMW E46 M3, right? I believe so. They say it's a 2006 BMW M3, not the E46, is it? Anyway, this is, uh, I don't know how many models have been released to this one. This might be the third, I think. Um, maybe the second. Uh, nonetheless, in a uh, Spectre Flame Blue with the six spoke wheels, very, very nice gray interior. I'm going to try, because these are, you're going to be voting on the best, I'm going to try and stay somewhat away from my opinions, but, uh, you know, there's, we'll just show you the variety, and we got to bust through these. This is the Corvette, uh, custom Corvette, I think is what it's called, it's from the original 16 line, right? It kind of is a uh, homage to the original 16 uh, Hot Wheels from 1968, so this is a, it's an updated casting, but it's essentially the same, it's got the Neo wheels on it. I don't think this, I don't know if you'd call this Spectre Flame, but it is in a very jet black Seems like that was released forever ago. Kind of a different style than we're used to, but RLC is going to be a mix of kind of like vintage style cars, mostly in Spectre Flame, and new castings. Brendan Vitusky does the new castings. We'll get to that in a second when we do it. Speaking of vintage, here's another one. This is the Mustang Boss Haas. You know, in that classic Hot Wheels style, it has the five spokes, uh, Real Rider five spokes, red line tires. These kind of cars are definitely homage to, to that. RLC really started... It was heavy on this nostalgic stuff. It's really moved to more just like showcasing ultra premium, but you'll see those nostalgic cars show up sporadically throughout the line now, uh, pretty consistently. All right, now I remember I mentioned Brendan Vitusky. He has been designing for RLC for a while. He does cars that he likes, like uh, hot rods and gassers, but he also does things that uh, a lot of other people like. He's really been pushing variety with the uh, marketing and the design teams and everybody else. And uh, this is one. This is the uh, BMW. This is the E30, right? What's the official name on this? 1991 BMW M3. E30, very different than the uh, basic casting or the what was released in premium, I think, uh, several years ago. Um, I'm not going to showcase the opening parts on these, but most of these new castings have some sort of moving feature that Brennan has incorporated. And they're pretty genius. But uh, to go through all of these, I think if you have collected RLC, you know what these are. This one has opening doors. That's Inspector Flame Blue. That was a new casting this year, as was this. This is actually the first release of two in 2022, or first uh, arrival uh, in 2022. This is the 1962 Ford F100 Creamsicle, is what we'll call this one, in the Spectre Flame Orange with the white trim. Even has the uh, orange and white interior, white wall tires. Looks very different than its second version. We'll get to that uh, once we get there. Opening hood on this one from Brendan. This might be the one that you've over. It's going to be, I mean, like every poll, every tournament we do, it's near impossible uh, to try and just pick one, but you got to, and you got to vote on the polls. Make comments here on the video, but definitely vote in the poll. That's how it's going to count. Here is the Hakoska Skyline, the premium one that uh, 
Brandon did. This is the second release. It was in that kind of dark chrome in 2021. Then released with memberships, 1972 Nissan Skyline HT 2000 GTR and Spectre Flame Blue. We saw this as a convention model later in the year, but we're only doing RLC now. Four spokes look cool on this one um, with the Spectre Flame Blue opening hood and a lot of different trim parts on this that are very different from the premium. All right, the old classic Golf 510. This one is in an acrylic case. This is the opening hood premium version of the 510. They've been doing these golf cars without Spectre Flame paint. Some people like that, some people don't. Seems like the 510 is, even if people complain that it's been released too much, still buy it up a ton. Um, that is the Golf 510 from the acrylic case. We're going pretty good, right? Another Brendan Vitusky new model this year. We've uh, covered this one for the best of Hot Wheels tournament, right? Except it was the convention release in the teal color. This was supposed to be the first release of this one in Spectre Flame Red of the Cobra R, 1993 Ford Mustang Cobra R. Um, just timing wise, it just ended up coming out after the teal color. But um, yeah, we've seen two fantastic releases of this one. But this is, I, you know, unofficially, officially the debut of it in the Spectre Flame Red. Looking forward to more versions of that car. That might be in the poll. Another new casting that we saw this year. They started coming in fast and furious. Not the movie. Just in terms of frequency. This is the Dodge Power Wagon. Uh, what's the uh, 1952 Dodge Power Wagon, right? With the rotating uh, bed on this one to signify or to highlight its off-road capabilities. This thing is heavy. It's a monster. Brennan was super creative in the moving parts on this one. Um, and that might be one. This is, you know, a casting, an underrepresented vehicle is the uh, power wagon. So it's nice to see that one. Um, I had to kind of mix this one in because I can't display these. I display all the RLCs for the year, but this one doesn't fit in the, uh, in my cases here. But this is the blown delivery. I could have included this with convention models because it's officially released as part of the convention, but it is an RLC. And now what they've been doing is selling these, you know, making it available at the convention and also making them available at Mattel Creations as a direct-to-consumer purchase for those that uh, didn't attend the convention. So I do count it as an RLC release. Blown Delivery, I think, is an underrated casting, kind of underappreciated at this point. It used to be a red-hot casting from Phil Reelman, but it was nice to see this plain pink version released as part of the convention, but as the RLC model, so it counts. We'll get to the second one. But very much not nostalgic per se, but kind of a throwback to, uh, to some classic Hot Wheels. All right. Nice to see this one, the Hypo Hauler, come back. This is the third version in this blue. I don't know what kind of blue you call that. Almost a cobalt. It's almost too light for a cobalt blue, but a beautiful blue color. Um, this was originally done for Gas Monkey Garage, right, by Brendan Vitusky. All those details on it um, from top to bottom. So, you know, they'll you'll get new castings, you'll get nostalgic castings, and then you'll get repeats of recent castings, right, with the RLC. They're building quite the arsenal. Of cars. Here's another one, Brendan Vitesky original design, the stance changing for uh, Chevy C10. I almost said Ford, blasphemy, right? Uh, second or third? Third. There was the root beer, there was the teal, now there's this red line speed shop version in kind of a dark red with that cream two tone top. Um, still getting, getting a lot of pickups. All right, Dodge Charger. This is the Helifont Charger. What's the official name on this one? 19. So hard sometimes to. 1969, is that what it is? Dodge Charger RT? I think it's the 69. Um, but done modernized with the Helifon engine. They, you know, the first version of this was very modern in black with the five spokes. This is a little bit more of a throwback to the classic Charger stylings. Um, still modernized, right? But uh, that Spectre Flame purple with the muscle, that Mopar uh, stripe on the back. And we saw this in the convention too, about the same time, released about the same time in orange. This was a selections model. I think the Chevy was too, right? So this was all decided on by uh, collectors when they voted for it on the RLC website. And then um, Steve Vandervate kind of put all of all of the collectors' votes together. Like once we voted on color and wheels and everything, kind of did a design and did a nice classic factory style design. All right. This one was part of the best of uh, Hot Wheels polls and uh, got knocked out by, I believe, the Mercedes wagon. But this is the Nismo R34. This is the skyline that just keeps going, is always red, hot, white, hot popular. I know I got 8 billion uh, messages from everyone about that pink one. We'll talk about that in 2023. 
um, in Columbus, right? But um, but this is the uh, dark chrome Hot Wheels logo on this one. I think there's some history to this, like it was meant for something and then didn't happen. And so we saw it released in RLC in this dark chrome with the Nismo uh, style. It's really cool. I, I'm with you. I'm not real keen on the Ghost Hot Wheels logo on the sides, but it's still a very cool looking model. And it's always a popular casting. It seems like they could do anything to that casting and people will like it. All right. If you're Brendan Vitesky and you're designing for RLC, you're going to get this too. And so glad we did. Uh, this was supposed to be part of the best of 16 Hot Wheels uh, poll that, or tournament that we did. But I felt that the NFTs needed some representation. So out went the Triassic 5 gasser and in went the Ad NFT gasser. But this may be the model you want to vote on. This thing was wildly popular. It's based on Brendan Vitesky's gasser that he built. The Triassic 5 Gasser, um, just recently sold too, but this has been showing up at uh, car shows, on magazine covers, um, at the Hot Wheels convention in LA last October, and he did the basic release of it, right? And uh, this kind of like, you know, the, he he emphasized the rust and the patina on the uh, on the actual Triassic 5 that he built, but this would be like in the fantasy world, like the original before it got all beat up and rusted out what the Triassic 5 would have looked like maybe when it was first done. It's an absolute stunner of a model. Sorry for expressing my opinion, but what am I supposed to say? Really, really cool story and really, really cool car. All right. This is one that got knocked out. A lot of people surprised. It just met the juggernaut that is the uh, R34 Liberty Walk Chase from Car Culture. But yeah, this one got a ton of buzz when it was announced and unveiled. And then uh, obviously sold out very, very quickly. It is the Chevy 454 SS. What is it called? Black Rat? Something like that, I think. But, uh, you know, truck that uh, from the 90s, cool to see 90s era. You know, we're seeing a lot of 90s era vehicles, but it seems to be more in the Euro and Japanese uh, realm. So it was nice to see this uh, Brendan take on this truck with the opening hood. That was very popular. We're going to see some, one of those very soon, too. All right. We'll keep going. We're going through this really quickly. Rio Asada tribute. I don't know if there were any other Rio Asada tributes. I mean, we saw plenty in basic. I don't know if we saw any premium. Matchbox did one well. This one is kind of the signature premium uh, Rio Asada treatment or tribute model. It is the Honda S2000 based on his S2000 in yellow. Done in gold. Spectre Flame Yellow is what probably it's officially called. But done in this bright, bright gold uh, with the... Uh, 10 spokes, really cool tribute model. We've talked a lot about this. Really nice. I mean, they made a lot of them available. Really cool card art on this one with Rio's, um, with Rio uh, on the actual card, which you don't see very often. It's, you actually see the person on the card, which is really cool. Really, really nice tribute. Obviously a, a, a meaningful car and very meaningful to everyone. RLC members, designers, everybody. Nice to see that one. All right, let's keep going. I mentioned... That uh, Ford, the 1962 Ford F100, the Creamsicle, here was the second version. I believe that that Creamsicle was supposed to be released in 2021, but it showed up early 2022, so it's part of it. So is this. You'll usually see one release a year from these. Um, there's exceptions to that rule. But this is done in Spectre Flame Blue. You notice how different it looks? Um, white trim or white top, genuine Ford parts. Uh, so this one takes a little bit more of a shop truck look, where the other one seems more like a show truck. Right, but both are very, very cool. It's neat to see the same cast and release so close together, looking so different. I bet you could put them next to each other, and people wouldn't people wouldn't realize that they're the actual same casting. So there is that second version. I'll obviously differentiate the two in the polls, so you can vote for one or the other. All right, going back, nostalgic. How about that custom Corvette from earlier, and this one from the October convention? The pink RLC model is the uh, custom fleet side. This is a total throwback. This is the only one I have, only because I put it in with the uh, with the 2022 RLC car. It's not a casting that I'm particularly fond of, but for the nostalgic Hot Wheels collectors, this is a big deal uh, in the uh, in the Spectre Flame Pink. Beautiful model, and you definitely has that cool nostalgic feel to it. Man, um, that might be the one you want to vote on because a lot of big nostalgic Hot Wheels fans. All right. Second release of this one, this is the 32 Ford. Brendan, like he likes to do, put opening doors on this one, and he also put an interchangeable engine. So this is the second uh, the second engine, the first release last year, and it wasn't even done in Spectre Flame. I'm trying to look at my wall, see where it is. Yeah, it looked very different, different engine. This one um, this one has like the, uh, the burn marks on the headers. 
and uh, you know, really cool exhausts on this one, really to change the look. They don't look the same at all, um, but this Spectre Flame Red was a very nice version of the 32 Ford. A lot of uh, fans of those kind of hot rods. I think it's an absolute stunner of a model, and I've just expressed my opinion again, but I always do. Um, how about this Lamborghini Countach third version of this one, opening scissor doors. Uh, another brilliant Brendan casting. You know, he again, he loves his American cars, his muscle, his uh, classic uh, gassers, all that. But uh, he'll take on the European and the JDM cars, and he'll nail those too. And this one was really, really cool. A lot of people, some question the colors on this and the color choices and the trim. Nonetheless, it was a model that I think sold out fairly quickly, and it's a Lamborghini, and those are always popular. And something that's a nice development to see in the RLC, because that was not something you saw before. It was classic cars and nostalgia cars. So, I mean, when you look at the very, um, the various different, you know, Hot Wheel or um, JDM, European, everything, it's really cool to see the diversity in the RLC. All right, back to the gassers, another Brendan classic. Uh, this is the Willys. What is the year on this one? 41 Willys Gasser. Third, there's a convention, maybe two versions released in RLC and then a convention. Maybe this is the fourth. I'd have to look. I'm trying to look, but I'm not going to waste your time. But anyway, it's the holiday model. Went on sale and then was sent out, which is kind of nice. So the stocking stuffer. Um, nice deco on this one. They do a holiday model every year. Nice to have it in time for the actual holiday it celebrates. Finally, just arrived this will be the last one and anything that comes after this will be for 2023 is the camaro what's the official name of this one another classic custom camaro um done in this uh so oh, what is it see it's just i just don't know my classics but this is kind of a throwback homage model as well done in chrome with the neo wheels and there was uh something about it and i've totally forgotten and uh, but I'm just showing the models and you can vote on them and it will be in the poll. But this Camaro very much throwback like the Corvette, like the fleet side, uh, like the uh, Boss Haas, even the blown delivery, even though that's more modern casting. You still have those nostalgic castings. So that one goes, we'll put it right there. But there you go. Whew. Did it quick, as quickly as I could. I think that's pretty good to get all of them in that fast. Go to lamleygroup.com and vote. We'll announce the winner, your winner and my winner uh, when we do the award show. Not easy. You got to pick one. And it really depends on, I think, what you like. And you can, whatever your criteria is, your favorite casting, how it was executed, uh, something that was fresh and new, that was different. I'd love your comments. So definitely put them down below and tell me what you voted for. But make sure you vote in the polls. Thanks, everybody. Bye.